Three, agree to and include the following two statements. So take these, copy them. Okay? Get rid of that shit. Unimportant. Paste them. Get rid of the fucking quotes, which is weird. We'll talk about what they are in just a second. This is only the first step, but this is the last thing in your counterclaim notification, all right? You need this in there. Critical. So what does it say? It says, I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located. Or if my address is outside the United States, the judicial district court in which YouTube is located will accept service of process from the claimant. You better be ready to be sued because that's what this means. You are, you are disputing a, fa a legal claim of copyright ownership, which means you might be sued. But this is critically important. Whether or not you appeal the decision, they can sue you even if they take down your video. If you infringed on copyright, they have a right to enforce their copyright whether or not you appealed. So this is kind of silly in my opinion because they already could do this. But you need to do this to win these. All right. Next, I swear under penalty of perjury that I have made a good faith, that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed or disabled as a result of a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. It is a mistake or misidentification if you actually have a fair use exception to copyright. Okay. You have to do that. You have to have a fair use exception. But if you have fair use, fair use is a defense to copyright. And importantly, it is a defense that means that you are not actually creating a derivative work, but you are creating an entirely new work that is deserving of its own copyright protection. It is something that they do not have a right to. So fair use, people think like they get in their minds, fair use is me having permission from someone to make a thing. No, fair use means that the use is fair, which means that the use is actually so distinct from the original that it's unique to you. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, so you have to include this. This is a pro tip of navigating YouTube's fair use stuff. You will not find this on a lot of sort of uh, guides about this, but trust me, as someone who has failed to include this before, you include this. It's a critical element of passing the claim procedurally through YouTube. All right. Now, now you get to write whatever you want. And the best part of this is some fucking loser at NBC's legal department has to read whatever you write. So we type NBC is a pile of human garbage. They actually are a threat to American freedom and don't understand the basic elements of the Copyright Act. In fact, they use money and power to suppress the voices of the people they attempt to brainwash and spoon feed their regurgitated bullshit on a daily basis. With that as a baseline, let's begin. This is obviously a fair use of the original material. Any basic good, whoops, good faith, fair use analysis would show that this falls heavily 
in favor of me. I imagine NBC's lawyers are actually shit. Actually watching a read oh, I shouldn't say watching. They're actually reading this material and masturbating over real legal work. Just wishing they were involved like the cucks they are. This work is highly transformative. <laughs> I have clearly commented and criticized the original damn it I cannot type that's the liquor the original work so thoroughly both in form and function that the new work is entirely distinct from the original. No one watching my content would ever actually watch the NBC video in virgin form because NBC is a lying shit heap. Who likes... We'll just leave it at lying shit heap. My content adds the necessary expertise and background information for people to return with an informed, uh, people to return an informed opinion on the matter presented rather than be spoon fed ass juice from a bunch of uh communists Let's see um that's pretty good there is similarly no impact on the market that barely even exists for the original video because NBC markets to literal morons. My viewers are smarter than all of them. They would never watch NBC because they aren't into uh, self-harm. And NBC knows this, of course, and is simply leveraging their bullshit power against me. Fuck them. Sue me. I think that's pretty good. We're now at uh, 1962 out of 2,000 characters. Pretty close. What do you guys think? I think we got it. I think that's pretty good, right? Uh, okay, so we've we've clicked the boxes, but importantly, you gotta have this after whatever you write. <laughs> so you click the boxes. My video does not infringe anyone's copyright. That's true because it's fair use, so it can't infringe a copyright. I understand the claimant will be able to review my video and my dispute rationale. 
And I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube account. This is not fraudulent. It's true. Everything I said in there is correct and accurate. And this is transformative fair use. Submit. Dispute will be sent to the claimant for review. YouTube does not review content ID disputes. The claimant now has 30 days to review your dispute. We'll send you an email to let you know the outcome. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's that. <laughs> you gotta you gotta tell it how it is how it is. Now, here's the reality. NBC is going to let that marinate for 30 straight days. Every single day. They're going to let it go, and then they're not going to do anything, and it's going to release the claim. That's how it goes. <laughs> and that's, I, I don't know what else to tell you. That's how you go ahead and take these on.